Hey guys, what's going on? So somehow I always find myself in a mechanic shop when I'm making a video and that's because everything I do is always about, you know, cars or vehicles. And today we're in a bit of a different mechanic shop. Um, we're in my truck mechanics uh, workshop. And today I'm gonna quickly show you guys what happened. So the other day I mentioned I got defected on one of my vehicles. It was really upsetting. Um, but you know, my mechanic is really good and he jumped on it straight away. He did literally everything he could and it's in the workshop, the tray's off already and he's already done like some serious work. So I thought I'd maybe bring you guys along on this little adventure as well. So over here, we're getting one of my uh, trucks uh, service, we're getting some new tires because the tires look low and with trucks you have to be really on point with everything, like everything. So over here we have uh, one of my vehicles that have just come in. So uh, we uh, have been working on the Saturday and uh, it's now in for getting new tires. But the one I wanted to show you guys is just down this way. So uh, this is my other Hino over here, um, which is turbo and intercooled. Does cool doses, but it's so slow like trucks are the slowest thing in the world Anyways, this vehicle here had a tray on it similar to this vehicle like that However, we had to go change some stuff in terms of the chassis rails So this is uh, Anthony over here. He's the mechanic. There's John as usual um, Yeah, so Anthony, let's uh, show, show us what's been happening No? <laughs> Or, or which, which, which part have we been fixing up? So, so it looks from here that um, we've been fixing up some of the rust over here. Um, and it looks like it's being straightened out on the chassis just under here. Um, so it's funny because, you know, you'd never think of a car doing having to go through something like this. But on a truck, it, it's so important because it's carrying massive loads of like up to 14 tons. And so when we did get a roadworthy, this was a major item that did come up, which was kind of concerning for me because, you know, I feel like I'm bleeding stacks out of my rear, um, which kind of hurts, you know, probably worse than constipation. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a little bit about that. Now I'm going to go back and we're going to do some suspension upgrades on the EG Civic. Um, so I'll see you guys in a sec. So guys, we've now gone to uh, Motor Lab. We're here at Henry's shop again. Um, I can continue on my EG Civic, but I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update on Jay's motor since um, we're here as well and Jay's working on that too. Now, Jay's over here and he's actually putting in some hard labor. It's something that you just never see, so it's a rare sight. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jay looks hard, I've seen it. <laughs> but uh, he's he's now going to be stripping um, stripping the long motor to, to make it a bare long motor. Um, yeah. Supervising, supervising. Yeah, we're all watching you. It's we're good fun. Be for like a week. Nah, I'm not supervising you for a week. You're dreaming, bro. Mm -hmm. like but I'll supervise now. <laughs> Look, man, you gotta know every single bolt that boat does. When you're pushing power, man, you gotta know your bolts. Name them, yeah. Yeah. Give, give all of when one bolt falls out, you better know where that bolt comes from. Give every single <laughs> bolt right. Christine, Jessica, <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Tin. tin. Tim gives uh, bolts female name. Yeah. Talk about. You never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget the bitches. Uh, These aren't OEM bolts. There's a thing with OEM bolts, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you, especially doing two days anything like mm -hmm. this, yeah, they've got. Where's this? Oh, the shank, like a um. It's like a. All that tape, like a locator. It keeps everything in, in place. So, oh. so when you pull, when you pull this bolt off, it is just a generic MA bolt. All my bolts have been changed as well. Yeah, when it comes to motors, especially mm. like tensioners, especially JZ water pumps, mm. there is a special bolt for them. Same with, uh, same with tensioners. The OEM bolts have a certain design on the shank. See how these aren't OEM? They're threaded all the way. Mm. Wait, hold up. Oh yeah, yeah, too quick, bro. Bro, my camera's got to focus. <laughs> bro, it's still focusing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So that's just a generic MA bolt. Alright, cool. Uh, so OEM bolts have a different design. And it, lo help, it helps locate everything. I'm when it comes to this shit. Yeah, especially, no, that's fair enough. Especially for these things. Yeah. Yeah, OEM bolts are, have these designs for a reason. So it's not good to use these bolts? Um, 
You take manifolds holes and that, I wouldn't mind, but like, I don't know, I'm just fussy like that. So guys, uh, as a mandatory, before we start on the EG, we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna go to Kimasu, and Andy's gonna drive us there in his 86. Yeah. Is this BBT? Yes, that's mine. Hey. And he's gonna drift it around this corner, which he didn't quite. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be man. <laughs> that's it, bro. But, but how come you have traction control off then? <laughs> Mr. Responsible. I don't want the new owner to be seeing this, you know? Huh? I don't want the new owner to be seeing this. <laughs> Sorry to the new owner, but you can't never see been, the number plates. Never been thrashed. <laughs> never been thrashed, never. Never, never sped it. No. Never got above 100 k's. All right, guys, we'll see you at Kimasu. So uh, this is Andy's nice 86 over here. If anything, I love this number plate. Look how cool it is. Like BBT. Like, <laughs> say you're a Asian without saying you're Asian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. This is Kimasu, so we're gonna go check out their food quickly. Huh? <laughs> like, you're too handsome, bro. That's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice and creamy. <laughs> spicy babe, please. Right. Too spicy. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to get a chicken, chicken curry capsule. So what's a KSV bro? Um, it's, it's like a, it's, it's chicken katsu. Yeah. It's Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> wow, that was really chicken. detailed bro. That was, that was probably the most detailed description I've ever heard. It's a chicken cutscene. That's some cheese. It's a cheese. That's a cheese. <laughs> Damn, this is good shit. Where's my cocoa? What's up? Where's the bag? Bro, look at you, healthy boy. No, there's nothing in here. Is there another bag in the car? What the fuck? They didn't give us our drinks. So guys, we have one, two, three. We just need to remove them, separate this uh, ball joint here and uh, we should be able to replace this quite easily and quickly. So we're gonna do that now. Alrighty, righty, guys, we have the upper control arm here, which is the stock standard, and then we have the aftermarket one here, which is nice and red. So now what we're gonna do is, because this is getting a wheel alignment on the Monday, we're going to just put it back to stock standard so I can drive this home um, without anything, um, without too much of a misalignment and uh, hopefully everything will be okay in terms of that. Um, but camber shouldn't affect it too much. So uh, we have the ball joints over here and uh, we're just gonna screw them in per so um, and just so it matches exactly the same as the other side. So uh, I just wanna make sure that it's all good. So we're gonna do that now. So guys, uh, I was attempting to put everything back together and as I was about to finish, the drive shaft decided to pop out and lock itself out. So Henry's decided to take over because we are in a bit of a rush considering the time that it is. It's uh, quite late. And so now Henry's just uh, removing the drive shaft because it appears to be caught just in this section here um, along one of the splines. So he's popping it out over here. And uh, he's gonna try and attempt to move that. So. Uh, I'd literally installed everything, everything, on both sides, and it just came to this that it decided to lock up, so it's quite unfortunate. I'm not sure how that happened. I think I dropped it a bit faster, Henry may have said. So, uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Come on, man. It's a like an hour and a half to strip the whole engine. 
This yeah, no, but don't forget, we went to get food as well, and I was fucking around. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was going real slow. Hey, bro, how long is this gonna take like half an hour, man? <laughs> <laughs> this is the two upper arms. <laughs> <laughs> two upper arms, a drive shaft rebuild. You just gotta keep it. <laughs> Might as well just do it, too. Let's hop more at it. it done quicker. Yeah, yeah. What do we quicker? Just do it, Casey. It's probably easy. If your subs gonna be out anyway, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you get this far? I know my drive shaft fucked up. So <laughs> <laughs> Talk about escalating things. Talk about escalating things. Fuck, how does that even happen? Talk about escalating things. You're the king for that. It's just your bad luck, man. Now to top it off, the drive shaft, the drive shaft's stuck in the hub. Oh, no. Because I'm trying to take the drive shaft out now so I can reset it on the bench, but now I can't even get it out. Oh. I can't get out of here and I can't pop it out of the box. Oh, you fuck. Might have to. <laughs> we'll drive with uh, Camber coming the other way. Oh man. Look, so man, at least you're doing something useful, yeah? <laughs> Filming. <laughs> well, I think maybe it's time to put that down and start smacking this. <laughs> no, no, I'm Henry, just gonna draw my drink and Henry, watch Henry, Henry said there's not much I can do anyway, so he said it'll take over. No. In what world is stripping a motor if he's changing some wishbone? Slavery <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> the second time I hit my head. <laughs> hey, I feel bad. You're bad for him, bro. He burnt his hand, smacked his hand, and shit. Hand, smack his hand and shit. Yeah, it's the fuck. same hand. I know. Oh fuck. No wanking tonight. Sorry, he's got his... If I get home early enough, you know, I might be able to... He might not, yeah, yeah. But at this rate, I ain't get shit. This one. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, guys, um, the drive shaft balls have popped it out of its actual socket. Henry likes the word balls. I do not like the word balls. We love this drive shaft, bro. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so those are meant to sit inside that pocket, are they? Yep. Oh, I stuffed up and I looked into the torch. So, gotta get it back inside. But unfortunately, that's stuck in the gearbox. That's stuck in the hub. So guys, um, over here, uh, the three wheels popped out of the carrier bearing and uh, Henry has now popped it back in. It's just very unfortunate that it's popped out like this. It just normally doesn't happen, but it just has happened. So, yeah. Good work, Henry. How do you feel? Oh, no. <laughs> my hand hurts. My hand hurts. <laughs> Ball joint back in, and then we're all good to go. We're Gucci, Gucci Pucci. So, uh, we'll be back in a second. Alright guys, this brings a close to the video. We've now installed all the camber arms um, and everything is ready to go for its wheel alignment on Monday. Massive shout out to Jay for being moral support. Hey, and then Henry I for, uh, huh? I hope uh, moral support and a little bit of help. <laughs> and thanks to Henry for, uh, you know, um, putting the drive shaft in and finishing off uh, the final touches. So he, he gave it its final rub, rub and tug and it finally came to an end then. So guys, uh, also if you guys uh, want to talk to Henry and get your car built there, it's pretty good stuff. Um, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you out.